Hi friend, I hope you had a fantastic week. So, I want to share a little experience I had a little while ago with Jen. So, both Jen and I really love animals and we love looking at them and we just enjoy it. So we went to the San Francisco Zoo and we're walking around looking at all the animals and they have a ton there. Um, even it's a smaller zoo but it's still, it was awesome. So we walk around and we look at all those different animals. And I love the big animals. I really like, you know, like the tiger and um, the elephant, but they don't have elephants there. Um, and giraffes and all those things. I really enjoy it. And that day, we're walking by like all the wild animals, you know, like the tiger and the lion and the looks and whatever they had, like a ton of them. So we walk by there and we look at them and we walk to the next one and then we stand in front of the lion. Right, and we were standing there, just looking at the lion. The lion's just chilling out, like, it's like a few of them, and they're just laying there, and doing nothing, like literally nothing. And we're like, okay, they're huge, but they're just chilling out. Then we keep walking, and we're maybe two or three cages down, and I hear this roar, a really loud roar, that literally like, shocked me up. I was like, oh, what is this? This is scary. I don't know what just roared. Like, it was crazy. And I'm like, this is nuts. So I'm like, hey, let's check. Like, let's see which animal just roared. So we walk back and just in time, we're there to see that big lion standing there, you know, chest up and roaring like crazy. And it literally like it shocked me up like literally like I was like whoo if there would be no wall between me and that line I would be scared for my life like literally it was so powerful so strong like literally nothing could stand against this line like it was huge like it was amazing and now why am I sharing this when you look through the Bible God's compared sometimes for like to a lion, right? They say the lion of Judah. Um, so when you think about that, a lion can be really calm, right? But if a lion stands up, nothing can stand against a lion. That's the same with God. Nothing can stand against God, you know, even more than a lion. And I think in the time when it was written, like literally people just couldn't take lions out. Like it was just like, scary and like they were oh there's a line okay I'm in trouble um, we just didn't mess with them right and you know we live in a world where we all face challenges right we all face hard times we all face maybe persecution maybe things where we get attacked in our lives or whatever like we all face those in our lives right we all if we don't right now we did at one point and we all have challenges right so now, you come to a challenge, you come to something in your life where you're like, I can't overcome this. This is huge. This is impossible for me to do. You know? Or there's people coming against you. Like, as an example, you're in a situation, there's like a bunch of people that are trying to beat you up, right? And you're standing there and you're like, oh crap, I, I can't do anything. I'm scared. But now imagine that lion sitting behind you and roaring. Those people are going to run pretty quickly, right? Those problems are going to run pretty quickly. God's on your side. God is with you. And we have to remember that. The moment we accept Him in our lives and we love Him and we're connected with Him and we live for Him, you know, God's for us. God's not against you. Isn't it great having that lion behind you instead of against you? <laughs> Definitely, right? Like if the lion is for you, that's a lot better than like if the lion's against you, right? And God's unstoppable. So any problem you're facing, any hard situation you're walking through, remember, God is with you. The lion of Judah is with you. And you're not alone. He's going to fight for you. He's going to stand with you. And nothing can come in the way of Him.
just want to encourage you with that. If you feel this courage, if you feel down, if you feel like this mountain in front of you is too big, those problems are too big, or those challenges are too big, and you can't break them down, remember that line that's roaring, and it can shake up everything. That's your Father in Heaven that loves you so much, and He wants you to succeed, and He wants you to break through. He wants you to live a life in so deep relationship with Him that you always know whatever's going to happen, my dad is with me. And nobody can fight my dad. Just think about like the story in the Bible where um, I think it was Elijah and um, a boy, they were up on the city wall and outside was like this huge army that was going to attack the city and the city is running out of resources. And then the little boy said, oh my gosh, we have no chance. Look at all those people down there. And what does Elijah do? He's kind of saying God opened his eyes and then he sees all the armies that God's sending and how big God is. And then the boy like realizes, okay, nothing. Nobody can stand against God. Nothing. You don't have to worry about anything. It's amazing, right? Well, think about a little child. Like, you know, just a little boy or girl or whatever, like really small kid. You know, when their dad's with them, they're not afraid of anything, right? They're going to do it because they know their dad has their back. And that's how God is with you. He's going to stand with you. The line of Judah is standing with you. And he's going to help you through. And he's going to fight for you because he's amazing. He's a loving father. I just want to encourage you with that. Let that sink in this week. God is for you, not against you. And He's on your side. And He will shake up the enemies, like and the people that try to bring you down, or principalities, or whatever it is. He's with you. Have a blessed week, and just know God's with you. Bye.